Hello people too and welcome back to another response video. Yeah, I know it seems like a lot giving you guys two response videos in one week, but seeing as I haven't done them in quite a while, I would like to gift this one to you. Now, of course, this one was actually not one that was asked or, you know, someone uh, had been like, you need to try, you know, do a video to this. This is one that... I remember coming out and a lot of people were like really shit on it and of course back when it first came out I didn't really do response videos but now that I do it is time to give my opinion on it this oh and by the way I had actually already done this video but it was one of the ones that just sounded like shit I actually did me and real deal done this one a couple months ago but this time I am doing it of course by myself and hopefully the sound ain't as shitty. So let's begin. This is... ...to be the same sex as Donald Trump. 36 questions women have for men. Now the first question was, how does it feel to be the same sex as Donald Trump? Well, good, I guess. Why, do I feel, should I feel bad because he's a pile of shit and a man and I'm a man? I don't take responsibility for whatever the fuck he does just because he's a man. Just like I hope you don't take responsibility for whatever Eileen Warnos did just because she was a woman. Let's continue. Why do you hate rom-coms? Or do you just feel like you need to hate them? Everybody like. I don't hate rom-coms. Fuck. Some of my favorite movies are sort of like romantic comedies. I absolutely love The Princess Bride. And uh, A Fault in Our Stars is really fucking good. I watched one uh, last night called Me Before You, which I have not done a review for, but let me tell you, it's pretty good. It's not bad. I, just, I will agree there are some that I don't enjoy. I don't enjoy the ones that are like the same shit you've seen a million times. The, you know, the, oh, guy falls in love with a girl, and it's just, you know, these two normal motherfuckers, and they split up in the third act. I can't, not a fan of those. But what I do like is the different ones, like Case for Benjamin Button, which is, you know, a different type of story that you've never seen before. Or, you know, the the two kids dealing with cancer and fault in our stars. Or the Princess Bride, a more fantasy-based one. You know, it's different. I love different types of romantic comedies and same with kind of uh league of their own really is uh a rom-com when you think about it and it's a funny fucking movie it's a good movie so it's the notebook everybody likes beyonce one I'm, I'm not gonna lie i didn't like the notebook i think it's fucking long drawn out and overrated and as far as beyonce goes I'm not a fan of her it's just a fact why do you make women sit around and talk about men in movies when i actually don't I've never sat with my girlfriend and just bitched about men in movies and been like, hey, man, you see that Sylvester Stallone movie? Remember in Rocky too? God, he was such a guy. Y'all easily just sit around and talk about boobs for hours. Why do you um, no, actually, me and my buds don't talk about boobs for hours. Every so often, I'll be on social media and see a good parent go, Hey, bro, check out these tits. And be like, those are nice tits. And it's like, yep. And moving on. You automatically assume that you won't like TV or movies that star a female lead. Why is... Uh, first of all, that's bullshit. There are plenty of female lead movies that I love the shit out of. The entire Alien Fran well, Alien 1, 2, and 3 are fucking fantastic. Along with, like I said before, League of Their Own, which is a really good fucking movie about female baseball players. And, of course, there are several other films which has male-female leads. Try the entire fucking horror genre from 1960 on. And a lot of those are fucking good. Bob Duke's a great fucking horror film, and his main character is female. So you obviously don't know what the fuck you're talking about, considering the fact that I'm a fucking massive horror fan. So guess what? If I was sexist and didn't like movies that star women as main characters, well, fuck me. I wouldn't be as big of a horror fan as I am. I'm surprised when women are funny. I'm probably funnier than you. Actually, you're not funnier than I am. I find myself to be absolutely hilarious. Uh, but there's a possibility you might actually be funnier than me. And no, I actually don't. I'm not shocked when a female's funny. Uh, do I enjoy female comedians? If I think they're funny. I don't find, like, Amy Schumer funny. I don't find a lot of 
other f like female comedians funny, just like I don't find many men comedians funny. I have a weird sense of humor, and the comedians that go with them, the ones I laugh at, I absolutely love fucking George Carlin, people like him, and Dave Chappelle. They're fucking hilarious. But I also don't laugh at people like Kevin Hart. Can't stand Kevin Hart. I don't think he's funny. So obviously it's not whether you're a woman or a man. I've laughed at Wanda Sykes, uh, Whoopi Goldberg's old career that she, um, when she done on Broadway, I laughed my ass off. If you want a good comedian who done a pretty good stand-up, go check out Whoopi Goldberg's uh, Broadway uh, stand-up. It's funny. So. Why do you think that we're obsessed with you when we hook up? Nine times out of ten, I just want you to leave too. I'm busy. I got shit to do. Why can't I sleep with as many people as I want to without... Well, one, I'm not stopping you from sleeping with as many people as you want. And no, I don't think that every woman of all time is obsessed with me. Um, you might be. I don't know, but I don't think it. Uh, so, yeah. Of being judged. When men do it, they're congratulated. Why do you consider a woman a tease if she doesn't sleep with you after three dates, but a slut if she sleeps with you on the first date? I don't. Actually, I don't give a fuck if you sleep with a man on the first date, second date, or third date. Uh, because guess what? I'm not, if it has nothing to do with me, I'm not in your life. I don't give a fuck. Uh, if my girlfriend slept with me on the first date, I'd be fine with it, or the second, or the third, because guess what? I don't give a fuck. Life ain't all about caring about shit that doesn't matter. I really don't. In what world does no mean yes? No means no. Why do you... That is correct. No definitely means no. And any guy who takes advantage of that is a complete fucking douchebag. Why do you say that women are too emotional to be leaders, then just... I don't. I don't, I don't know why you think that women couldn't be le Are you sexist? Uh, are they sexist? I have no problem with a woman being a leader. Justify catcalling by saying men just can't control themselves. I have never said that. I've never said men can't control themselves. In fact, if anything, I'm completely against motherfuckers uh, who make that kind of statement because y'all motherfuckers who do shit like that the men who act like they can't control themselves need to grow the fuck up. Which is pretty much what my entire YouTube career has been ever since I restart, since I done, uh, done all these response videos is me critiquing men who basically just cry and cry about women. So. Why do you think that just because you're nice to me, I owe you my body? Why? Never said that. Never fucking said that. I've never said that just because a woman's nice to me, uh, that she needs to fuck me. Never came out of my mouth. Why would you ever send an unsolicited dick pic? I wouldn't. I would never just send a dick pic. Period. Because here's the thing. Uh, for me to send one, I have to get to know you. I have to have a connection. Have to, I don't know, be a person? I'm not a jackass who fucking just click. What's there? I got a long list of women. There's fucking Jill. There's fucking uh, Martini. There's fucking like uh, fucking uh, bunch of Shaniquas. I don't fucking know a bunch of female names and go. They're all getting the dick tonight. Pictures on my dick. I don't do that. Cause why the fuck would I? It makes no sense to me. Why do you feel like it's okay to harass women or make offensive comments about women, but when somebody does it to your sister, it's not okay? How does it One, I do not think it's okay for guys to randomly make offensive comments towards women. Uh, and no, I think it's wrong to do it to my sister as well. Because why the fuck would you do that to begin with? That's what I'm saying. Like, most of this shit is kind of like, who are you talking to? You're talking to psychopathic fucking narcissistic motherfuckers who only make up like, what, 20% of society at the most? I feel to interrupt me when I'm in the middle of making a point during a meeting. Why do you have to... One, I'm never going to have a meeting with you. Uh, two, uh, I probably wouldn't interrupt you. I don't want to see why I would unless you just keep going and going and going and going and going about something and we have to get back on topic. Then yes, I'll probably interrupt you. And if you find that to be sexist or offensive, sorry. Sit with your legs so wide open. I balls. I got balls. Get that you have balls, but... See? 
I don't stand around with my arms wide open to make room for my boobs. Yeah, you want to know why? Because here's the thing. I actually have tits because I'm a big guy. Uh, here's the thing. My tits, I, I, and, you know, women, I don't know if this happens to you, but, see, balls attach to your legs. Like, they get sweaty, and they <laughs> suction cup straight to the side of your fucking leg. And you ever see a guy doing that thing where they kind of, like, look like they're doing squats? That's to unattach the nutsack from the leg. Your titties, as far as I know, doesn't <laughs> suction cup to the arm and make you do this. So. And even if you did, just kind of did this, I wouldn't give a shit. I'd go, well, that's fucking weird, but whatever, it's just as weird as fucking guys doing the squat thing. Why are women perceived as the weaker sex? Even though we literally birth you. Like watermelons through like this. Why? I don't perceive you as the weaker sex. According to science, you are. Uh, me in general, I don't care if science says you're the weaker sex or not, because uh, why the fuck would you care anyway? If anything, y'all should, I don't know, be like, fuck science, which, I mean, you shouldn't because science is awesome, but you know what I'm saying. It's so bad to show your emotions. It means... It's not. It's not bad to show your emotions, whether you're a woman or a man. Because guess what? In order to work as actual human beings and not just be a bunch of fucking crazy-ass motherfuckers, it's good to show your emotions from time to time. It means you're human. Why are you all... Yeah, it does. Always trying to prove your masculinity to me. I'm not. Actually, I'm one of the f motherfuckers who actually doesn't try to always prove his masculinity. Because guess what? I am probably one of the least masculine men there are. I'm not going to lie. Um, sometimes I ask all manly. I'm all I'm like, yeah, that's right. I'm all manly and shit. But I'm definitely less manly than most men. Why the f*** isn't it ladylike to cuss? When do words get gendered? Why is... I don't give a fuck if you cuss. Cuss all you want. Hey, hell, actually, it might be kind of sexy. I don't know. Have fun. I don't give a fuck if you cuss. Is it your first instinct to doubt women who have been sexually violated or raped? Why do you uh, I don't, actually. Uh, I don't doubt them at all. But I do think there should be proof, like any other crime. Do you assume... A woman's angry because she's on her period. Why? I've never said that all women are angry because they're on their period. In fact, I've met many women who can't have periods, who are um, older, or has had hysterectomies or whatever, who still get fucking angry. So, unless you're a fucking child or a teen who just for some reason presumes that every woman is angry just because they're bleeding out their vag, then... yeah... Why do you think women that wear makeup are false advertising? I don't. Hell, I don't know. Some women look fucking amazing with makeup. Some women don't. Some women do. I don't fucking know. Not my biz, because guess what? You can wear as much makeup as you want. There are some women who just look naturally beautiful without makeup. Some who don't. See, that's what I'm saying. Shit like this doesn't matter to me. So. We can say the same thing about your dick size. Why? Well, let's, stop, let's not compare makeup and dick size, because here's the thing. Uh, your dick isn't really covering anything. Your dick's there to stay. So if you have a small dick, you have a small dick. If you have a big dick, you have a big dick. Makeup is to make something look better. You see what I'm saying? Like, my whatever the fuck you're talking about just it doesn't go together. Isn't it weird that there's a bunch of old white men sitting in a room making legislation about what I can and can't do with my body? Do you I agree. I'm pro-life. Or, er, not pro-life. I'm pro-choice. I'm pro-choice because I don't give a fuck what you do with your body. Have fun. I don't care. You have a coochie? Why are straight? No, I don't have a coochie. I've licked a few, though. Booyah! <laughs> Great guy's so obsessed with lesbians. I'm not. Actually, uh, I'm pretty sure on my pornography, uh, 
uh, podcast, I actually mentioned the fact that lesbians aren't that interesting to me. Um, now, being in between them? Hell yeah, I would definitely not mind that. But as far as, like, just sitting there watching and masturbating, a little boring. But if I was in between them, or if I was getting involved with it, fuck yeah. Does it feel to get kicked in the balls? Yep. It fucking hurts. Getting kicked in the nutsack fucking hurts. You ever get tired of trying to be manly all the time? I don't try to be manly all the time. Period. I just, I don't. There are sometimes I just don't feel so manly. So I sit in my seat. I don't watch some TV shows. I play a game. I don't try to be manly all the time. You don't see my fat ass at the gym, do you? Walking, pumping that shit. Oh, I'm so manly. You don't see that from me. Because I don't give a fuck. Time. Why are you so afraid of gender equality? What? I'm not. Do I deserve to be paid less than you? In what world does seven... The wage gap is actually an interesting topic, and it's something that maybe I'll discuss later on. There's a lot behind it. But, for a quick little side note, apparently the whole wage gap, 70% thing, whatever the fuck they're talking about, uh, when the wages come out, I guess, like, the owners of said companies have to give them less because of the time when they'll get pregnant or something. I don't know. There's this whole big thing about it. You just have to go look it up. Not getting into it because it's way too long to really get into right now. 27 cents equal a dollar. In what world does 68 cents equal a dollar? How is... What was it, 76 or 68 cents? Is that fair? Why are you intimidated by a woman who makes more money than you? I am not. I am not intimidated by a woman that makes more money than me. In fact, I'm pretty sure my girlfriend actually makes more money than me. So I am not intimidated, period, by the fact that a woman will make more money than me. Because the more money that she makes, the happier she will hopefully be. Which means if she's happy, I'm happy. So I have absolutely no problems with that. And if you make more money than me, congratulations, you got a better job, and you're doing well for yourself. That's awesome! More money! Why are opinionated women seen as bitches? Wait. They're not. Bitches are seen as bitches. There's a big fucking difference. Opinionated women can be interesting. They can be cool. They're good to talk to. I'm friends with a ton of opinionated women. Bitches are women who constantly bitch about every little thing. And it's more than just, you know, oh, someone done done this to me. It's just over every little thing. So that that's the difference. Don't get those two mixed up guys, there's a difference between an opinionated awesome woman and a fucking bitch. And opinionated men are seen as bosses. What? No, opinionated men, if, you know, they're cool, are cool guys. If they're one of those douchebag opinionated motherfuckers who has to put his opinion into every little fucking thing, same with the whole bitching thing, then he's a piece of shit. He needs to shut the fuck up, because I don't want to goddamn hear your opinion about every little fucking thing. Whether you went to the gym to drink your goddamn fucking muscle milk, or what you're going to do when you get home when you run four fucking miles. I don't give a shit. Go fuck yourself, Dwayne. Why aren't you speaking up when you hear your male friends behind closed doors make jokes that are offensive to women? Why are you because you just said the answer yourself, because they're behind closed doors. And the only person that it could even be hurting is nobody. Because the only people who'd be saying those jokes would be them, and I would be the only one hearing it. And unlike you guys, apparently, I don't give a fuck about jokes, because jokes don't fucking hurt you. You're so afraid of recognizing your own privilege. Because I'm not privileged. I grew up in a fucking poor-ass house in a poor-ass state. I'm a poor motherfucker that really never had anything until later in life. If you think that I'm fucking privileged, you need to shut the fuck up. I mean you're a bad person. Just recognize it and do something. What do you want me to recognize? The fact I'm a man. I have man privilege. Fine, I have a penis. You have a vagina. There's my privilege, apparently. I got a dick. A little, you know, a little dick. A little dick back and forth. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Got it. Oh, hey, look, it's finally over. Okay, ain't it amazing how I can take a three-minute video and almost make the video 20 minutes itself? 
fucking fantastic because I have to delve into the dumbest shit so I can make a point on how absolutely dumb some of these fucking questions are. Like I said in the video, no problem with women, love women, love all this other shit. But when you make dumb shit like this, just niggles me the wrong way. Just niggles. So, okay. There's your second response video. And I probably won't be posting nothing until after Friday. Uh, so, Saturday, after the podcast, or after the live stream on Friday, make sure you join me. I'm going to be doing a review for Bubba the Redneck Werewolf. Ugh. Peace.